Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this week's update and patch notes, and um, yeah, should be a pretty interesting video since there was a new event, I guess, released today. Um, it's not really the Christmas event that we might be expecting or that you know, you might be expecting given what Christmas events were like in the past, but it's basically a similar event to the party or posty Pete parcels from the hedge thing. So um, it's called Presents from the Sledge. They really couldn't have come up with a, a more clever name for it than that. But um, yeah, basically the Christmas cracker paper that you've been able to get in many uh, Christmas events of years past and add to a big Christmas cracker here at the GE, which gave ridiculous amounts of construction XP. Um, you are going to be getting that Christmas wrapping paper again, or I guess it's different because this is called wrapping paper and the other was called cracker paper. But um, yeah, you can then bring it here and you can also teleport with this paper and it'll take you right here, which is pretty close to this spirit tree. So that's not too bad if you want to use it for that. But um, basically every 200 paper that you get, you can come here and exchange your paper with Posty Pete and you will get a Christmas present of, of various different colors. Basically, you can get a white, blue, purple, or gold present, and they're more rare as they go up. So white is the most common, blue next, purple, and then gold is very rare. And each one of these you open have various stuff inside, but they each also have a chance to give the green Santa hat, which is a new, I guess, rare. Although they did say on Reddit that it might come back in events in the future. So it's not like the gold party hat, which is a one-time thing you can only get now. This green Santa hat is potentially something that may return in the future at some point. But yeah, basically you get one of these presents and then you can open it and you'll probably get some junk. And, um, you know, that's about it. So I got 25 oddments, 25 tight springs, and one bonus XP star. Small. Um, when I opened one on my Iron Man, I got, um, 25 or 50 oddments, I think. And then like some, one of those useless foods. So, um, you can, you can do this on Iron Man and I'm pretty sure you can get the, um, the Santa on Iron Man. I, I don't know for sure though. Um, but yeah, basically that is the whole event. You get this paper from doing any sort of scaling and stuff. So like, Ooh, I don't actually know where these teleport you. Oh, they, okay, Barak dig site, sure. So if you watch, I have 105 right now. I'll teleport here and I gain 16 paper. Um, it's pretty much like all these events that, that are, you know, they're all the same in, in this way. They give you the um, the paper and there's like a set cooldown interval. I've heard it's uh, about two and a half or three minutes before you can gain it again. And doing anything gives you this basically. But you also get 40 paper and i don't think i have i think i did my daily keys or whatever but uh you you do get oh, i can buy some on the on the store but you do get 40 paper per um key that you use and i'll buy two just to um be, so i can open another present for you guys but i have 50k oddments so plenty of those to to go around um but i don't even know what all I really want from if I if I want anything is is XP. So yeah, but um, yeah, that's basically it. And now let's go ahead and see. We got it doesn't go in your currency pouch, unfortunately. But you get forty per key, so that's kind of lame. Uh, considering obviously they're basically just trying to get people to buy keys with this. And um, yeah, if you do want to buy keys or spend bonds on keys and waste your money, then you will get forty paper per key you spend. Um, and then also important to note, you can look at these here and see what they can give, I guess. So there are a lot of, uh, tokens that you can get. I think a lot of these are from years past, they said. Um, and then there's a lot of stupid junk, like oranges and gold rings. Um, these were the foods I was talking about, but, um, yeah, you can see right there, the green Santa hat is, uh, obtainable right there. And, um, it is obtainable from any tier of present. Um, looks like the, uh, the next tier, the blue one removes a lot of those random junk items and the purple one adds in a little bit of stuff, bigger lamps, five mil cash, uh, and a couple more tokens. I think we're in there. Oh, the Christmas loot beam. I hope I can get that. That'd be pretty nice. 
um, rubber turkeys. And then the gold present only gives either 50 mil or green Santa. So the gold present is extremely rare to get. And um, yeah, I know that this is really, really rare because I don't haven't even seen anyone post on Reddit of them getting a green Santa yet. And it's been out for like six hours. So yeah, apparently it is just extremely rare to get this uh, from these presents. So don't count on getting it. But don't feel too bad if you don't get it regardless because it's not necessarily going to be discontinued because they have said basically they can they can bring it back um, in, in future Christmas events. Um, there are also actually a couple of other items that are new that weren't listed as new rares in the um, update post anywhere. I'm just trying to see on Reddit people like posted what they were called. I think they're just two tokens that you get from the event here and like half the posts on the um, on the Reddit are about people who got their Glacor chests screwed, but I'll get into, in, get into that in a minute. Um, there's something called a gift wrapped scythe, which I don't see in here. So I'm not sure where that's from exactly. But there's a gift wrapped scythe and one other thing. It's like a frosted wreath or something like that. Uh, I think so. Is that I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly how you get those since they're not actually listed in the uh, the presents section here of their items. But you can search them on the GE and they'll show up. So um, let's see, gift gift wrapped scythe is a, I guess a new item and then frosted, whoops, frosted wreath. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, who knows how you get those maybe from get just doing the, the presents, but a couple of other items in there as well. Um, so yeah, just, you know, whenever you feel like go ahead and, uh, bring your paper down to here and, and open up some presents, try and get lucky. Um, like I said, you do get it from basically doing any, anything in the game. And then if you want to waste your money, you can buy keys. I'll probably just like spend all of my oddments and, and buy keys because I have no no reason not to. Um, I've just saved those up from like a billion different events and, and the daily keys and stuff. So just a bunch of free chances and maybe trying to get one of the green Santas. It would be pretty cool to have one. But again, I'm not super worried about it. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing for the Christmas event. Kind of lame, honestly, um, in my opinion, especially because you can get 40 paper per key, which is really stupid, but that is, um, that is what they came out with for the Christmas event. Um, uh, let's move on now to the patch notes and other things. Um, cause there were actually some pretty significant patch notes that I want to bring up. Uh, first of all, the Frank's free death event has moved on to the second week. And the uh, free deaths are now the um, the God Wars dungeon bosses, God Wars 2 bosses, and that includes Nex and Telos. So if you're someone who hasn't really done much Telos, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot now because it is free deaths at Telos. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Good to see that event is progressing as expected. No issues with that as far as I understand it. Um, golden party hat hunt, of course, still going on. I now have all three of my party hats. I have one. What is this going to need like an effigy or something? Uh, whatever. Okay. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah. I have all three of my golden party hats and that is on this account, my main hardcore and my backup hardcore. This guy doesn't seem to be doing anything. You're welcome. I guess I didn't get any XP for it. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, yeah, no problem, I guess. <laughs> uh, moving on though, uh, Yak Track, of course, also still going on. So yeah, don't worry, don't forget about that if you are interested. Um, I think I've just gotten the free skill and kill ones done, but I have been doing them on my irons for uh, for some of the cosmetics whenever I remember to. Yeah, I'm only on the uh, the eighth one on the, my main. I haven't been playing a whole lot on this account really, mainly playing on my Iron Man. But um, yeah, moving on now to the patch notes. Um, one thing that's kind of significant in here is for the Secret Santa event. Basically, before when Iron Man donated stuff, you were allowed to donate, but your stuff that you donated just got destroyed, which really didn't make any sense and seemed, there was like no reason for that. Um, so now the Iron Man donations will be put into the pool for people to claim. But Iron Man, of course, will still only be claiming like garbage food things that are worth nothing. So there's no point in even claiming. 
um, unless you've got a Yak Track task. But uh, yeah, the Iron Man items will now be uh, be put into the pool for main accounts to receive when they claim. Um, let's see, Advent Calendar, who cares about that? Uh, one thing that is uh, kind of significant, I guess, is um, for the Daily Challenge Weekly Rewards, there were combat dummies on it. I think that was last week, um, and you could get those on an Iron Man. And I, so now on my main and my backup hardcore, I have five combat dummies, which you're not allowed to get anymore. So I thought that that's kind of weird. I, I thought it was weird when they were on there, but I mean, I just claimed the rewards for the week. And um, yeah, now I have combat dummies on my Iron Man, which you're not normally able to get. So kind of an interesting little tidbit there, I guess. But good that they removed those because it was kind of stupid that they were available. Um, and then we have quite a few pretty big things for Elder God Wars Dungeon here. First of all, they have increased the unique drop chance from both Croesus and the Arch Glacier. So they, in a couple weeks back, they buffed the drop rates for Karapak and Zuck for most of if, most of their drops. I don't think Karapak's secondary like books and stuff got buffed, but they buffed a lot of those. And I, along with a lot of people, were kind of surprised that they didn't just tweak all the bosses, and especially like Croesus. Uh, I think was probably the one in most need of change, but they have done that for uh, Croesus and Arch Glacier now. They don't quantify how big of a buff the drop rate changes were like they did for Zuck and uh, Karapak, which I think is kind of lame, but they have done that. And another very big thing, which I like a lot, is that they have made the reward scaling for higher enrage and higher kill streak at the Arch Glacier to be more lucrative while they are removing some of the value from the lower enrage and kill streak drops. So I just recently, like yesterday, started doing Arch Glacier a bit on this account to try and learn the boss, have a little bit of fun. And um, I went up to a 71 kill streak, but then this update came out and it says that to benefit from these changes, you need to start a new kill streak. So I claimed my 71 kill streak, which was kind of sad because I wanted to get try and get a 200 streak on like my first big one. But um yeah, I'm only at 122 kill count, um, and that was my second streak I'd done. The first one, I died at like 400% because I didn't know what I was doing. But um, yeah, I got six uh, Nihilas from that. But um, basically now, I think this is how it should have been the whole time, but now streaking and pushing in rage higher, like streaking to high in rage, will probably be the best method for getting uniques at Arch Glacier, which I think is definitely best, in my opinion at least. Um, I feel like the most challenging way of taking on a streaking boss like this should be the most rewarding in terms of uniques and, and drops and stuff like that. So like at Telos, streaking is pretty good for getting rare drops and stuff. But if you can do two, four, four, nine percent claims, that's technically best. And I think that's fine because two, four, four, nine percent claims is generally quite a bit harder than doing like zero to one thousand percent streaks. So I think it's fine that that's the way it works at like Telos. And here, I think it's good. You know, who knows? It, I think they're supposed to release the drop rates this month for these bosses. Who knows if they're going to do that or not? But um, maybe like 3,200% claims at Arch Glacier is going to be better than streaking. But that's going to be like a million times harder than streaking probably. So I think, it, in my opinion, it is a good thing that they've made this change to make it more beneficial to do streaks instead of incentivizing you to do like zero percent claims or low streaks um so i did start over a new streak and i'm currently at this um you know i did one streak one kill on my old streak so i could claim it and then i finished the hour starting this new streak so i'm gonna go up as high as i can here maybe try and go for a 200 streak if i can but um we'll see how that goes and hopefully i can get some cool drops in there I took a screenshot of what I had in the chest at the end of my other streak. And when I get to that point on this one, I'm going to compare them to see if it's better or worse in terms of loot. Obviously, if I get a unique drop on the way, that will kind of mess with that a little bit. But it'll be interesting to see at what point does the buff make it so that your loot is better than it would have been before. Um, there was also a pretty bad bug with this where people's chests that they had saved before the update were being like super nerfed in value, but they have since fixed that. And if you did claim your chest when it had been nerfed, you I guess have to submit a lost item report. But if you didn't claim it, like I, I when I logged in, my chest was the same as it was before. But if you did claim it, or if you didn't claim it rather, and you come back now, it'll be back to the way it was. So yeah. 
Um, that that's like half the posts on Reddit are people being like, my arch glacier chest went from this to this, and I just can't believe it. Um, but which I mean makes sense that people are pissed about it. But thankfully they fixed it relatively quickly. Um, and yeah, that's uh that's what they changed with the arch glacier. So in my opinion, good changes. Um, but you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. I just think that doing 0% claims to have the best drop chance or whatever is just kind of stupid. So yeah, that's just my opinion on it. But I'm also interested to see how much more common the unique drops are from Krosis. Might be doing some of that soon as well. So yeah, glad to see that they've done that and really hoping they do release the actual um, the actual drop rates soon. Uh, I guess this is maybe why they were being a little bit timid about releasing them is because they were wanting to um maybe change them again and they didn't want to release it um release the rates prematurely before giving the uh the actual or tweaking the rates um they've also changed the wars retreat teleport icon which i think looks uglier that's just my opinion um it kind of reminds me of an insect yeah you can see it here but basically they changed it so it looks like this thing the wars insignia um and you can kind of see it. Uh, it's just a little weird because of the green and white. Kind of doesn't work. And it doesn't actually have the spike. Instead, it has like an indent. I don't know. It definitely just looks more like the insignia than it did before, which previously it was just kind of like a skull. But um, I kind of preferred the old one since, like I said, this one kind of looks like a bug to me, which, you know, not a big fan of that. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it it i think yeah that is everything for this week's update and this is the last patch for the year they have said that so there's not going to be any more uh, patches this year meaning that for the 20th and 27th there won't be any updates i don't know if they'll have an update on january 3rd which is the next monday uh the first monday of the new year but we'll see on that um but i'll probably be i'll still be making videos here uh, i do go back home for christmas next thursday but um, still, I'll be having videos. I didn't upload a Hardcore Iron Man episode this weekend because I, I kind of forgot. I was a little bit busy and also just um, I've been pl playing quite a bit and grinding and just sort of spaced out and forgot what day it was. That tends to happen a lot when I'm uh, working from home. But yeah, I will definitely be making a new Hardcore Iron Man episode maybe later today. Probably we'll just upload it tomorrow. Uh, so you guys can look forward to that and I'll probably have an update on my backup hardcore later in the week because I have made a lot of progress on that as well. Let me know your guys thoughts in the comments on this week's update. Are you looking forward to trying to go for a green Santa hat or are you just think or do you just think you have no hope of even getting it? Whatever you think, let me know. And what are your thoughts on these drop rate changes at Krosis and the Arch Glacier? Thanks for watching you guys. Subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.